Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We have everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Azoken, this being the tenth episode, and we're you know moving on to our next project, which is like using the town as the setting. We have like an alien invasion. It looks really cool what they're conceptualizing so far. So uh besides that, we also went into Kanamori's uh backstory, which I actually really liked uh what we had with her and just how she's been about the grind or how she's been about you know whatever being about whatever it takes pretty much or doing whatever it takes to to make money to make this uh to make things successful and that's kind of what she's doing now with this you know current project that we're moving into so um i'm excited to see you know more of what we're going to have of this so uh let's hop into this episode guys see what we got we're starting at the very beginning zero seconds and we're gonna get started in three two one play so surprisingly, this this show has been like good. With I had my volume blasted there, by the way. But like Subame's backstory, Kanamori. We haven't really mu went much into Midori uh, yet, so maybe that might be next. I don't know. But so far, what they've done with those two has been spectacular. I didn't even notice that until she pointed it out. She just like pulled her sock up more. Watch the tan lines. She said she was gonna go about it by, by any means possible that we were gonna make this successful. However. Well, she's telling him straight up how it's going to be. I mean, I guess she's not wrong. <laughs> and she's on the, she's the joke, she's on the, she's the poster girl for it, of course. She looks at Midori. <laughs> yep. Probably gonna be some three some three D animation in there if they're dancing. We see that like yo, know, when you have dances or like idol anime or whatever it in uh most of the time it's like three D. I don't know if that'll work out, the dancing stuff. Damn. It's about time you figured it out. Oh, um, great. <laughs> Even Midori liked that one while. <laughs> she hides behind Tsubame. Oh. Which we, I think she said we did get some help with the, uh, with some finances from, uh, someone in the city. I f I forget who it was, but uh, they're gonna try and, obviously, like a roadblock for the for the com uh the com what was it called the comet A, it's kind of like a festival or an event sort of thing. So, of course, there's gonna be some kind of a roadblock for that by the looks of it, which. I wonder who, like, not, not that I really think about it. I know it's the student council, but who is the student council? Like, when you, because a lot of this is inspired by real animators. I mean, it is, right? It's, like, kind of trying to represent that. So I wonder, like, what the student council was maybe, like, a reference to, like, in the world of making anime. I would say, like, maybe the producers, like, the higher up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way higher ups. That's probably what it is, honestly. Not like the production studio. I'm talking about like the producers that are above them that tell kind of the studio what to do, maybe. I, besides like the creative minds and all that, like, I don't know. 
But then I would say Kanamori is more of like a producer. So I, maybe not. I, I don't know maybe what the student concert is supposed to be a reference for, honestly. <laughs> Just haters. <laughs> Just haters or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dory's still trying to figure out. I mean, because I mean, the dancing thing probably would be cool, but like an alien invasion whole thing, like I don't know how that would work out. This is where we're going to have a problem, a little bit of a problem, or a roadblock. Athletic, cultural, or technical pursuit. can't do that with what they're doing i mean i feel like they sh they can show that off and they have shown some of that off yeah if something if something can still turn a profit to be educational i don't i Uh, or bad rap, or, you know, the schools don't want to deal with that. I mean... <laughs> For me as a parent, I'd be like, man, if they're making money off of this in high school, I'd be like, that's a good sign for their future, you know? Like, if anything, like, I'm... I kind of guess I see, though, maybe where they're coming from, like. <laughs> I said she's a vow, and I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. That's on them. <laughs> That's on them, right? Like if they made a deal, if they made a an agreement, then it's not like one sided. Hmm. Like how they're trying to like visualize the kind of the distance between them. Like how they're not kind of making any <laughs> progress with that. I guess <laughs> That's kind of what they're going for there. So are they gonna be dancing aliens? I guess Midori is going through with that. <laughs> and that's why she's our model. <laughs> that's why she's... Keeping close tabs on them. Are those all 
These are all like applications. <laughs> Seems like Midori has all these kind of concepts and things like she wants to do. <laughs> Miyazaki reference? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the art club all over again. <laughs> <laughs> like the art club incident when they were asking all them questions or whatever. <laughs> Is that Domeki? <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Subama's mod is like open at the same time the noise was like kind of synced up. No. Wait. That's. <laughs> is that the noise that she was making in her sleep? Legit. Like, who who snores like that? Wait, really? <laughs> Never have napped? <laughs> that has to be bullshit, right? <laughs> that has to be BS. Maybe not, though. I don't know. I don't know why you lie about that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Akira reference. <laughs> we got a Miyazaki and an Akira reference. <laughs> Gotta love it. Up in Domeki, kind of with some sound stuff, like I think. <laughs> of course, Midori's just kind of hoping she'll have some kind of a, or something else, I guess, to add on to it, like another spark for an idea, because we're still kind of in the conceptualizing sort of stage or process, like the beginning stages. Oh, this is neat. A 
This would be a nice scene for something, right? Like, 100%. <laughs> what the heck was that thing? <laughs> An alien base. <laughs> oh, that's cool. There's that spark. That's what I was talking about. Treasure inside the clock. <laughs> Is that like a Kaito reference maybe? I haven't watched or I, I know of Kaito But I don't know like I haven't watched or anything <laughs> Damn Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Like Midoriya kind of, uh, Midori kind of has all these Midoriya. Midori kind of has like all these ideas, all these different things. I don't know how, how it would work all of them together necessarily, but <laughs> like kind of putting them all together wouldn't probably work out. Some of these ideas or concepts, I feel like. There's a, one of them turrets again. <laughs> I guess it's a little different than the turret then. <laughs> right? Waiting for an announcement or oh, a, like a bell? Definitely what it sounds like. Vibrations. <laughs> Especially for them too, like you know, it probably took everything in them to do that, to hold it in. <laughs> Why could it still be ringing? Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh my god.
best uh this is the best opportunity for them. Yeah. A little foreshadowing though, though, maybe there, like, you're gonna have some more problems, <laughs> potentially, like... Oh, I'm, I'm familiar with this, I'm familiar with this, reviews of, like, editing programs, like, Vegas and I mostly use Vegas, yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. We don't even really understand yet, <laughs> right? <laughs> when that time comes, uh, only Midori will know. We're right. Hmm. Kind of like combining a few of the things that we just saw and heard. You can hear like the bigger bells, like kind of when she's going like that, like where she's inserting that. Yep. And then kind of like, kind of like fades out or like it mellows out. You hear like the, ch -ch 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 -ch, like the thing turning. I think that's probably what it is. Like just from that, like that's like what they're picturing or what they're kind of getting. That's awesome. <laughs> Impressive, too. <laughs> right, and it's hard to understand. <laughs> it's hard to understand, right? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like, even, like, most of the time, we don't get it, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh so making i guess some progress um with the, with the project it's like it, it makes sense though like midori has a lot of these concepts and ideas and things like that she wants to do but um i guess losing track of kind of what the task at hand is is normal right that probably happens to a lot of creative minds you know um which really Midori I guess doesn't have it all kind of figured out right now obviously which that happens um obviously with a lot of creators so definitely makes sense and I know time's ticking but you can't really expect Midori to <laughs> have it all like that especially when she has a lot of these other ideas and concepts and so it's not really all there yet, but we're still in like the beginning stages. I know we don't have 
a lot of time, so hopefully we can kind of get it sorted out soon, but um, g good episode here. Good episode again, as always, is solid. It, you know, this episode necessarily wasn't, like, amazing or, like, a 10 out of 10 episode, but um, it's just kind of the... <laughs> that <laughs> that illustration. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's not like... Like, it's kind of like almost how... I mean, there's been some standout episodes in Azoken, but I say, like, the series as a whole is not anything that necessarily blows your mind, right? Um, you know, a lot of the concepts, a lot of things they do with it and how it comes to life through their minds or whatever, like, actually seeing the final product is amazing to see and, and you know, really good, but... Um, like episodes like this, like which we've had a lot of kind of episodes like this, um, are what makes you know, when we see the final product, it makes it all worth it. That's you know, really when those episodes are like, wow! Like when we saw them, you know, in the school when all the students were watching their short or whatever, like, and then the robot anime it just it's kind of like these episodes build up for that. So that's obviously where we're heading into. I think we're probably going to get some maybe like Midori backstory, kind of how Midori is at sort of a roadblock right now in terms of like putting it all together. I feel like that's where they're going to throw in maybe a backstory or something with Midori like they have done with Kanamori and Tsubame, but we'll have to wait and see uh, for that. But we have what, a few episodes left? I think 11 through 13. So we got like three episodes left. Um, and I'm curious to see where we go from here, kind of what Midori maybe comes up with or um, how she puts it all together and what the final product is going to look like. But that's probably not going to be towards maybe the end. So uh, we'll see. But also we got the student council to deal with still and some of the teachers in the school. So we'll see. Uh, it's getting interesting, definitely. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Azoken. If you guys did enjoy my reaction to this one, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you do, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.